Why is this rabbi doing this? Why is this doctor doing this? Why is this organization doing this? Why is the world this organization? And why is the center of this organization? All these different organizations. Well, but, 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 but. They didn't cause the problem. You and I caused the problem because we gave these people credibility on the front lines, right? Where it comes into the, our, our world. We gave them credibility. We let them bring the Egyptian ideology into our communities. Like the Rebbe says, the internal exile even worse than the outside exile. Let's not fool ourselves into thinking that Paro was a simple-minded, small, petty person. He was the leader of the greatest nation in the civilized world at the time. Listen, Faro, he's the top of humanity. He is the highest level of all your science, philosophy, physics, quantum physics. Now, Faro could have changed his mind very early on and say, you know what? Let's let them go. We'll figure another way to finish the building projects. But it wasn't just about finishing the building projects. The finishing the building projects was the excuse. He had a very, very cogent argument to respond to Meshia Beno, Moses, our teacher, and to Aaron. But one second, now I can tell you is the following. We have to learn from something that actually happened in Egypt, because Egypt is still a country, and an Egyptian told me the following. He said, Rabbi, do you know how the Islamic Brotherhood came into power in Egypt? Let's, let's understand what the Islamic Brotherhood is. The Islamic Brotherhood is a Marxist, communist, a revolutionary, murderous, terrorist organization. So how did, how did the people fall for this ploy, such a murderous ideology? So the Egyptian man who himself is a doctor said, they did it by opening health clinics. So this is exactly the situation we find ourselves in today. We have the most sophisticated advanced scientists, doctors with all kinds of letters and degrees. You don't realize how their Egyptian ideology is what drives them. Their drive is that you have to listen to them. God forbid that you should stand up and say, I don't care. I'm not closing my synagogue, I'm not closing my Jewish school, no matter what. Because God Almighty will show us, as God Almighty does say, I will take you out of this subjugation. You voluntarily subjugated yourself to this by joining their culture and putting them on a pedestal. You said doctors are the highest art of society. In fact, in Crown Heights, they went so far as in the, the base of Crown Heights, which is the court of Jewish law in Crown Heights, they actually put the doctor's signatures in a box at the top of the letterhead above the signatures of the rabbis. It's a tremendously dire situation, but the dire situation is because we're not letting go of this exile mentality. We still want to have these people. We don't want to let them go. Infinite amount of tshuva that needs to be done by the rabbis and the ones that run the mikvahs and the, the ritual baths in every community with every measure of tshuva that is done and spoken about in every safer in Shulchan Oroch. There's the tshuva of, the, of Tanya. So I don't come to be judgmental. I'm coming to wake everyone up to realize that it's it's each one of us that has to take responsibility. If you see something's wrong, you have to correct it. A person has to do tshuva. No one should be allowed even to remain in their posts. That's an honorable thing to come with humility and say, I don't know, and to investigate.